All right, guys, so today we're going to react to a little small clip of CNN, believe it or not, of all people, taking shots at the Democrats and kind of defending Trump a little bit. Let's take a listen. All these speeches, as good as they were, is that she's in the White House right now. Democrats have controlled the White House for 12 of the last 16 years. And for all of the talk about division and the problems in the country and people are hurting, Democrats have mostly controlled this country. Trump had it for four. The Obamas and Biden had it for the rest of the time. And somehow, it's still all Trump's fault, and somehow she hasn't been at the center of it. So to me, that's still the glaring hole in this campaign that hasn't yet been solved at the convention. How do you explain all of the problems that will be solved by the person who is currently in there for the last three and a half years who is supposed to already be working on solving it? I was actually surprised to hear CNN call out the Democrats and Kamala Harris a little bit. I'm used to them and MSNBC and all them completely defending the Democrats, everything they do. I feel like most of those places have lost most journalistic integrity. I mean, if you take a look around, if you look honestly, I don't see how or what she's running on. She hasn't been good. You see what the country's been like the last three, four years, and magically she's going to clean it up. Like he said, you've had the whole time to clean it up now. He makes Kamala qualified to become the next president of the United States. She's not. She didn't, she didn't go through the voting process. They scared of the system, but I was, I was all by design. So how do you think it's even possible that she is now running for president when she wasn't even voted in because, to be the electoral? Good question. Because to, to be the person? Because it's part of prophecy. If you look at, uh, like, Egyptian, Kamala means lotus flower. Out of the lotus flower comes the sun god rock. So what she's going to bring, she's going to bring what he wanted. Back in the day, the sun god, along with Akhenaten, they were the rulers of the dynasty back in the day. They're going to bring economic doom because what you have to do, you have to destroy it before you rebuild it. They're gradually doing it now. That's why they got to have these conventions because they need you to be, uh, they need you to make a covenant with them and be in agreement with them to move forward. That's all this is. It's an exercise to be part, to participate in your own doom. Okay. This whole system was not built for American citizens. It was built for secret groups to run it. And they're running it. You know, this guy has a very interesting perspective because what he's saying is the truth. Kamala is part of the cabal with all these other elites that are helped running everything into the ground that we see right now. There's a reason they don't want Trump so bad because he's completely anti everything they stand for and they can't control him. The question is, is, you know, all we can say is we hope and pray that Trump will get in and that the people will see the light. I believe if there's fair voting and there's not any kind of let's just say, funny business going on that Trump should win, but you never know with these kind of elections of what anything is going to bring. Also, like you said about Kamala's actual uh, credibility and why is she the vice president? Well, listen to Kamala a little bit herself as, as far as her skill set and why she believes that she should be the next president. What did you do to become the presidential nominee of your party? Well, sometimes you just have to hawk to her and spit on that thing, you know? 